This is part of a video series on um, using Power Apps to create an app from a SharePoint list. And we have several other videos. I think we're on video six right now. So we have several other videos before this. So look them up on how to create this Power App. And we're walking through the simple steps of converting a SharePoint list into a Power App. So today we're gonna jump into how to load media into our Power App Canvas that we're working on. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is open up Power App, the app that you're working on. And remember, usually you're here in the tree view. That's usually where you're at. You're usually sitting in the tree view. You're working on this. You're doing things right. Your edit screen, your detailed screen. We haven't gotten to this one. That's in another video. All right, easy enough, right? So now we want to add some video. So we can add video and we can add images. So let's go ahead and just search for an image here. We're just going to click this one here. It's the first one that came up. We're going to load it. That's as easy as it is. Now we can drag it right onto our canvas. And now there you go. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now, if we wanted to add a link to this, we could add a link here. And we're going to talk about that in a different video, actually, on how to add links to images. But that's how you add a link, excuse me, um, how you add a, um, an image. So you can, you, there are some restrictions. Notice here that media files can be no longer than 64 meg, and this will impact the load time of your page. So just keep it in mind, don't go too crazy with the clip art and the different pictures and things like that, but it does help. Let's go ahead and upload one more thing and let's see if we can upload a video. Hmm, well, let's see here. We're gonna just uh, click an executable here, a video file, and we're gonna go ahead and click on that and see what happens. So here we're just loading a video file. This is in an MP4 format. And it obviously it's gonna take a few minutes to load. Remember also while this is loading, we're using an E3 Office 365 subscription here. Very basic Office 365 subscription. So you can do this pretty much from any Office 365 environment uh, that you may have. All right, so that's an 11 meg file and it took approximately three minutes to load. So I don't know if that was the internet speed or what, but just something to note. And here we're gonna add it to the canvas and there's the video right there and now you can see when i play this i can actually see the video so let's go ahead and click play real quick and see what these images look like notice here the image is nice and clear you can see everything didn't dither it and now notice here that you can see the video and voice as well and we have a few controls here that you can run and which there we go <laughs> and um, you can even go full screen from here as well. So uh, very convenient, works very well. You could do a video library, but just remember that, that you're gonna have to play with this on the speed that your app comes back up uh, when you get done developing it. So just make sure that it comes back up fast enough for you or kind of pull back on some of the things you may be adding. So that's it on this video on how to add different components here. We can delete these components from our canvas and they stay in here as a library for us to use as we continue forward. Remember the icon is right there to add media to your, to your uh, Power App canvas.